Hey y'all, what's up? If you're new, my name's Pamela. So nice to meet you. I'm a newly licensed esthetician specializing in the treatment of acne and multicultural skin concerns. One of the most commonly asked questions I get is all about the glow. So let's talk about it. Glass skin is defined as having skin that's crystal clear, poreless, translucent, and luminous, like a piece of glass. Um, but can we be real for a minute? I hope you and I both know that that standard is completely unattainable. Skin has texture for a reason. It has pores so your body can sweat to get rid of excess salt and regulate your body temperature. And it has follicles which secrete sebum or oil. And that's literally a part of your skin's protective barrier, the acid mantle. It's what keeps your skin from drying out completely and shriveling up like a raisin. And it also protects your skin from environmental stressors caused by free radical damage which i know that sounds like a lot of mumbo jumbo but y'all it can wreak havoc for your skin and your body and unfortunately it is all around us in pollution smoke in the environment by the uv rays and your acid mantle helps shield you from that I think it's super helpful when you understand the function of our skin to then appreciate and not look down on it so much because honestly because the world told you that having large pores was a problem it's not. I don't have crystal clear, poreless, translucent skin, but I think my skin can still look like glass. So in my opinion, glass skin is all about hydration. Therefore, it can be achieved on any skin type with any skin concern. It's not just for those with crystal clear skin. Okay, so I have three main focuses when it comes to achieving this glow on the skin. Number one, hydration, hydration, hydration. Have a hydrating skincare routine, even if you're treating acne like I am right now. I find ways and spaces in my routine to still incorporate hydration, even if it isn't directly in this morning routine. It's hydration throughout the day and other products or in a nighttime routine. It's constantly drinking enough water that my skin needs, but also using topical hydrating products alongside it on wet skin and then locking that in with a nice moisturizer depending on your skin type. If you are a beginner and looking for some more basic tips how to understand what your skin type is and the products you should be using, I did make a video on this which will be linked in the card right above. But hydration truly is the name of the game when it comes to achieving plump, juicy, radiant skin, which is what glass skin is all about to me. One of my favorite products to help boost hydration is toner. The toner I'm using right now is my favorite toner for acne prone skin. I do find that it helps tremendously when I incorporate this into my routine of other prescription skincare products. My skin type is dry, it is sensitive, and I do have hormonal acne. Acne is chronic, meaning it comes and goes, but never truly goes away. There is no cure, unfortunately, but it can be managed successfully. I do have a more in-depth video on this routine as well, which will be linked in the card if you're interested in checking it out after this video. But regardless, even through it all, you do want to focus on hydration. Like I said, it's something that every single skin type needs to have. Hydrated skin heals faster. And if you are using Western skincare products, a lot of the times they will feature more aggressive active ingredients that target acne by drying it out, which in turn end up drying out the whole skin. And it can feel quite uncomfortable. It's also quite restrictive to your skin's acid mantle. Whereas Eastern skincare products like Korean and Japanese skincare, for example, really focus on hydration, barrier repair and protection and less harsh active ingredients on the skin, even when treating acne. I've been going back to an old routine that I know works because my skin was breaking out again as I've been experimenting with different prescription skincare products. And the reason why I really like this routine is that it's a blend of both worlds. It focuses on efficiently treating the acne on the skin, but also incorporates hydrating skincare products that contain antioxidants, which will help fight off those free radical damage that we talked about earlier. This routine is really tailored to myself, as all skincare routines should be because they are deeply personal, but I want to drive home the point that regardless of whatever particular skin concern you're working on treating, also incorporate hydrating products like a toner or serum alongside it. Hydrating toners or hydrating serums typically contain ingredients known as humectants, which are able to attract and lock in moisture to the skin surface. They work best when applied on damp skin because this allows the ingredient to have a source of water from when pulling. 
I also used to think that toner was sort of a throwaway product, but when you find one that truly works for your skin type and your skin concern, it really does make the biggest difference. Your skin feels so much more comfortable on a day-to-day -day basis, but also you'll start to get a natural glow even before you've applied your skincare products because well-hydrated skin just glows. Having a well-hydrated base is always going to be the common denominator in any of these glass skin, dolphin skin, glazed donut skin, all of these, you know, really glowy skin looks. And please don't try to let a little old skin concern like acne or eczema, psoriasis, hyperpigmentation, don't let them stop you from achieving your glass skin dreams, okay? I'll tell you right now, I had a face full of cystic acne and I have always been a Glossier girl, even when my skin was not clear and maybe it wasn't what was being depicted as a typical Glossier girl. I say all this to say, live for yourself find beauty trends that truly resonate with you and don't think oh you know i have to wait until my skin looks a certain way to be able to participate do what you want participate when you feel like it you know okay so hydration is definitely the number one most important main focus when thinking about achieving this glass skin look the second is definitely a glowy sunscreen that is not greasy something that's a little bit lightweight not too thick and of course, something that effectively works at protecting your skin from UV rays that are often found in the sun. This has been my favorite sunscreen as of lately. It's got a gorgeous glow. It's very comfortable to wear. It does not sting the eye area at all. And it does use chemical filters, so there won't be a white cast on any skin tone. Sunscreen is an absolute essential to wear every single day, even when it's cloudy, even when it's raining. It is not just for sunny days on the beach, and it's not just for fair skin tones. Sunscreen is not only an excellent preventative measure against developing skin cancer, it also has anti-aging benefits and helps treat one of the most common skin concerns for multicultural skin, hyperpigmentation. It is definitely an essential for the glass skin glow, but is also an essential for your skin's daily protection. And glass skin isn't just for the skin on your face it's also for your lips. Lately, I've been stepping up my lip care routine by incorporating a hydrating serum on wet lips before applying an occlusive like Vaseline or a lip mask. This has helped so much with the need to reapply chapstick throughout the day. Typically, I'll do this routine in the morning and at night, and my lips do not chap throughout the entire day. It's a super simple addition with a big impact. I do like to use DIY at home lash extensions so that when I wake up in the morning, I'm already feeling pretty much put together and I could just pop on a little concealer and head out. And I do already have a video all about the application, maintenance, and removal process, so that video will also be linked in the card above. So again, to recap, when thinking about achieving this main glow for the glass skin look, we do have hydration, having a really hydrating skincare routine. The second is definitely using a glowy sunscreen that is not greasy. And then the third and final tip that I like to focus on is dewy or natural finish makeup products. So when it comes to complexion-based products, the goal for me is to just use the very tip of the concealer applicator and spot conceal. This is to truly show off the progress that we've made in our skin, no matter how great or how small. This, to me, it really does help you feel more comfortable in your skin when you kind of force yourself to take the minimal approach. <laughs> You know, I mean, you're the one that's putting in so much effort into your skincare routine. You're the one that's wearing your sunscreen every day like you should. You are the one that is investing good money in these skincare products. So why not show off that work as well? The makeup is just to amplify or to enhance what you've already done with your skin, right? So it's, it's to enhance all the work that you've already put into your skincare routine. And that's what glass skin makeup is really about to me. And a little tip that I like to do, as you can see, I clearly did not blend out my concealer. I stopped and went ahead and did my eyebrows. And I let the concealer dry down just a little bit so that it does provide more coverage. This is especially helpful when you are trying to cover up pigmentation or a blemish. And now I'm taking the flat side of a foundation brush. Typically, I do prefer um, a little bit of a flatter foundation brush, but I'm taking that that long side and just patting in the product in small circular motions. Whenever you're spot concealing, 
or, and trying to cover up a blemish or some sort of pigmentation, you want to apply enough product to cover the blemish and then blend around it, not over it. So it keeps the color in the center of the that particular pigmentation and then just diffuse it out and around the edge to blend in seamlessly into the skin. I hope that makes sense. So as you can see, I'm hardly tapping the concealer over the actual blemish because I don't want to remove the concealer. And sometimes with spot concealing, it is more beneficial or certainly more efficient to use more of a full coverage concealer so that you're only going over that spot maybe one time. Uh, the Kosas concealer that I'm using, while it is Honestly, it's my favorite concealer. I use it like every single day and I've been using it for years. It is more of a, I would say a medium coverage, like a light to medium. So sometimes if the color is still peeking through, I'll go over it again. If your pigmentation is a bit more severe, it's much darker or it's a drastically different color than your skin tone, it would be helpful to color correct as well. Right after concealer or foundation, blush is certainly the most important step in the glass skin makeup look. For this type of look, you'll definitely want to go for a cream blush or a liquid blush. This is going to enhance your glass skin glow to a 10. If you have a blemish underneath your blush, it helps to stay in the same category of using liquid products. This way, you can go on top of the blemish with some concealer and blend it out without the products pilling up or sort of flaking up on each other. I like to give the blush just a second to sort of settle down so I'll move on to another step before I go back in and spot conceal. And after the blush is all done, I do like to take my fingers because to be honest, nothing really beats the warmth of your hands when it comes to blending out makeup products into the skin absolutely seamlessly. This look does not have to be achieved by only using the products that are featured in this video. It's about the techniques and the tips that were mentioned and finding a way to incorporate those into your existing routine. Like personally, I would rather invest in skincare which can yield actual results rather than spending a lot of money on makeup which can only cover. The glass skin makeup look can be achieved by using super affordable products. It's just about the consistency and hydration in your skincare routine, following that up with a radiant sunscreen and then selectively choosing where to apply makeup to enhance the overall look. I do have some favorite makeup products and makeup brands that are my go-to to really enhance this look, like Glossier, M Cosmetics, Kosas, and Merit Beauty, but so much of this makeup can be duped, right? You can, you can look it up. There's dupes for a lot of these products. The work and the effort that gets put into your skincare routine, that can't be duped. That really is individual, it's super personal, and it's up to you the amount of effort you choose to put into your skin. So now that the blush has had a second to dry down just a little bit, I'm going over with that same exact technique that we did before of taking the tiniest bit of concealer, focusing that right on top of the blemish, and really blending out and around, very minimally touching the product over the actual blemish so that we can get the most coverage. A healthy approach to this look is definitely the skincare first, makeup second mindset. And again, I want to reiterate that anyone can participate in this aesthetic. If you want to do it, then go for it. Don't let anyone else dictate your own standard of beauty. I truly hope that you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all. Stay safe.